end user development. So what is end user development? In basic terms, EUD is a set of methods, techniques, and tools allowing users that are non-professional software developers to, at some point, if they want or need to, create, modify, and or extend a software application. EUD allows the user to customize the functionality and the interface of the software as they are the developers that know what they need. Developing and maintaining. An end user is someone who consumes or uses a piece of software or product. These people can be anyone who uses technology, from someone listening to music to someone playing a game or doing an assessment. An end user is also you. The end user can develop and maintain software, as previously explained. End user, as previously explained, end user development is a set of methods, techniques, and tools, allowing users of non-professional software developers to create, modify, and or extend a software. Software maintenance in software engineering is the modification of a software product after delivery to correct faults and to improve performance or other attributes. The original producer and designer of the software will create options for the end user to then modify the software as they need and allow for them to maintain the software for those needs. This means that if the need of the end user changes, they will be able to change the software to suit that need and remove any functions that are no longer needed. By doing this, it allows for the end user to interact with the software and develop it to become what they need it to be, making everyone happier. Rapid Application Development, or RAD, is a process where software is developed quickly by skipping most of the usual stages of planning. A basic design is quickly laid out, which is then followed by jumping straight into the programming. This method of development is more effective for smaller projects and is definitely more commonly used in end-user development. Skipping the design process means that the code will probably be more messy and less laid out. So if it was a large project, generally the programmer will have to reprogram old parts of code which are no longer compatible with the newer parts of code due to it not being planned out earlier. While using the process of end-user development, you are the developer as well as the consumer. This is helpful in a variety of ways. In other forms of development, the consumer of the product communicates with the developer to tell them what they want. Communication isn't always perfect, which is why end-user development is great. You don't have to communicate, because you already know what you want. This means that you can get straight to coding and making your project the way you want it. Timing and budgeting for development. As EUD is majorly comprised of non-professionals, the timing for the softwares that are developed are short as the end user is either one person that knows what their idea is and can act on that singular idea immediately to their preferences or a small group that can compromise more easily to an idea instead of having a team of people throwing ideas to consider. Therefore, the budget is also small as the timing is short. Pros and cons of end user developed software. Some pros um, include standard software packages, um, which give end users sufficient knowledge to customize the product to suit their particular need. When the user tells the software what they would like done, the software works out how to do it. The user can clearly understand how the software operates without the need for training materials or help systems. Low cost. Development is often completed within hours, um, can create a one-of-a-kind application and report. You can also reduce the backlog in producing information systems and improve flexibility in responding to users' information needs. Some cons are development is unstructured, informal, and is often undertaken with little initial planning. The user developer is usually learning the pack package as they develop their product. There's no attempt to record the solution, possible misuse of computing resources, lack of access to crucial data, lack of documentation for the applications and systems that end, user developers, end users develop, and inadequate security for the applications and systems that end users develop. <laughs>